back with you along with Jen Mueller and the starting goaltenders tonight. For the Seattle Kraken, this is game number 12. And for Philip Grubauer, his 10th appearance, coming off his win over the Buffalo Sabres, 19 saves on Thursday night at Climate Pledge Arena. At the other end is Karel Pamelka. And this kid is a sensational story. You see his record in terms of wins and losses, but his goals against and his save percentage is outstanding. He played last night in Anaheim. The Coyotes lost to the Ducks by a count of three to one. First of two straight on the road for Dave Haxtell and his crew. They will be in Vegas on Tuesday night. He makes one change tonight. Jeremy Lozon steps out on the back end, replaced by Carson Soucy. It will be Alex Wenberg facing off against Johan Larson, the Snoqualmie Casino Sportsbook faceoff. Sit back and enjoy this one from the desert. Pamelka to the outside, cut off by the hat trick man, Jordan Everly. Three goal performance Thursday, and he picks up where he left off. 15 seconds in. It's Jordan Everly again, and the Kraken are off and running. Well, this is back to back games for Arizona where they've given up a goal early early in the first period. Right off the opening draw, it's a simple D to D pass. They want to get the puck up, get it into the zone and start the floor check, start the pressure. The Melka gives the puck up along the wall. A quick little board batter. Everly makes a smart play to get it to the front of the net and it goes right to the back of that. Smart play by Everly. He's the one who tipped it in, but he's also the one who gets the goal. Yeah, the natural hat trick, the three goals in a row. The succession there on Thursday. The important first goal on the road to start a road trip. And we haven't even set the table yet. The starting lines brought to you by Emerald Queen Casino will be at the top of your screen. Jordan Everly. And you'll see him on the EQC scoring summary momentarily along the boards. Barrett Hayton out of the corner for Arizona up top to the point. Anton Strahlman going wide. Shane Costas bear no tip for Lawson Kraus. Jamie Oleksiak takes over and the Kraken get it out to center. Great pass. Tan up to Gord. Yanni Gord scores! Bang, bang in the desert. This time it's Yanni Gord and the Kraken have a 2 nothing lead. You can't ask for a better start than that. Two goals in less than a minute. Yanni Gord is going to be streaking down the left side, and he's going to get a great shot. Tanev heads up play, pass to Gord, right over the glove of Amelka. Not a whole lot he can do there. That's a perfectly played shot by Yanni Gord. That will be it for Karel Vamelka. Scott Wedgwood who the Coyotes acquired off waivers at the end of last week from New Jersey. This will be his second go around as a Coyote. He's a veteran. Wedgwood has played in three games with New Jersey, going 0-2-1 with the goals against North of three. And he'll take over. Eberle 15 seconds in, and Gord 59 seconds in. 2-0 Seattle. It's a hot start in the desert. It's a pretty good clip here, JT. And if the boys can keep this up. Unassisted goal for Everly. And the assists on the Gord goal go to Brandon Tanev and Mark Giordano. Tanev, his first assist of the season out of the corner. Jay Beagle, 83 in the dark sweater. Veteran, won a Stanley Cup with Washington in 2018. Dmitry Yashkin at his side. He played last season in Russia in the Continental Hockey League, and now Morgan Geeky looks to set up Jonas Donskoy. And now the Coyotes right back, two on O. Oh. Shot taken, they score! They roar back. Antoine Roussel. Outnumbered chance, and the Coyotes cut the lead in half. Roussel's going to bring this puck back in, head up, decides to shoot the puck. But a little bit behind the play was a altercation with Dunn. Dunn lost his stick. He had to get his stick behind the net. That's why he wasn't able to gap up and be in 
a proper position, giving up a little bit of a little bit more time than you'd want to see him get let him have the shot. But a good shot from Roussel and an answer for the Coyotes. For Antoine Roussel, his first goal as a Coyote played last season in Vancouver, had some really good seasons with the Dallas Stars in his career. And the goal comes at 133. So some fireworks here in Glendale. Adam Larson for Nathan Bastion right in front of that Seattle bench. The Kraken get it deep. Wedgwood where he can handle in the trapezoid. In pack of the goal. Jacob Chikrin will take over. Sail it out to center ice. Arizona on the transition. Travis Boyd who's back in their lineup tonight. Christian Fisher goes deep. Louis Erickson let it go to the point man. Cam Deneen now, and he'll clear it all the way around. A centering pass with nobody home. Deneen will get to it. Cam Deneen off Grubauer, played to the outside. Larson in control, unassisted goal for Roussel. Christian Fisher throws on the brakes, mollified by Riley Shane. Now it's moved along by Louis Erickson. This way, a pinch by Anton Strollman. He's tied up. Beagle goes deep. Good pressure by the Coyotes out of the corner. Winding up, Christian Fisher. He'll delay a shot off a stick. Stays in play off the glass. Beagle in back of the goal. Pounded, I'm sorry about that, by Hayden Fleury. And now out of the corner. It's controlled again by Hayden Fleury. He got the pass from Adam Larson. He'll get it out to center. And it's knocked down by Cam Deneen. Second NHL game. Transition time for the Kraken. Jaden Schwartz with a shot. Patted down by Wedgwood. Schwartz has points in five straight. Everly out of the corner by Schwartz. And by the point man, Mark Giordano. Seattle's captain back in his own zone goes D to D. Oleksiak, lead pass for Alex Wenberg. As we pointed out in the open, he was a plus five Thursday night in the 5 2 win over Buffalo. Seattle is 4 6 and 1 on the young season. Arizona 0 oh, 10 and 1. Seattle now coming all the way back to it, but they turn it over. Dyson Mayo, the rookie. Gostas Bear popping out. Johan Larson to the corner. Looking for the veteran Phil Kessel. Everly in control. And the guy who started the scoring. Right out to center. Rethinking it back is Alex Wenberg. A change for the Kraken. Brandon Tanner chips it off the wall. Ilya Labushkin for Mayo. It's a quick up. Chipped along by Kessel. And it's dumped all the way back in the zone. Seattle starts the breakout. Vince Dunn through the middle, chip and charge off Cali Arncroak. It didn't get deep. Here come the Coyotes, Clayton Keller. He throws on the brakes, looks around, goes deep. Lawson Krause out of the corner, wrapped up by Susie. Dug out nicely by Gord. He spots a wide open man and Dunn. Here come the Kraken out to center. Brandon Tanner clears it all the way around. Gord will get to it, to the slot. Nobody home. On a change, it's Larson. His shot turned out and covered by Scott Wedgwood and a disturbance. At the side of the goal, Yanni Gord in the middle of it. Lawson Krause and Jacob Chikrin for the Coyotes. Incredibly fast start to this game. The pace is sky high. You're going to see the puck just be thrown in right on net. Yanni goes in for a little tap. Krause and Chikrin didn't like that. But again, Yanni's always smiling. He's always ends, always ends up yes. somehow in the confrontations in front of the net. Eberly unassisted at 15 seconds. Gord from Tanev and Giordano at 59 seconds. Then Antoine Roussel unassisted at a buck 33. Off the draw, Adam Larson. A shot taken through a screen goes wide. Hayden Fleury to the corner, corralled by Kiki. Stood up defensively, pushed a bit that time by Strollman. Now Fleury popping out Donato. It goes by Kiki. He's shouldered by Anton Strollman, 35-year-old veteran. And the rookie, Cam Deneen, plays it to the outside. Arizona over the line as Louis Erickson loses the handle. Flurry all the way around for Geeky. More transition time for the Kraken. Bounced in by Ryan Donato. He'll get after it. He'll chop it for Jonas Donskoy. He'll get to it. And Donato was taken down in a hard way in the corner. As we see here, he's injured. Good thing he's able to skate off on his own power. Obviously not happy. Thinks there should have been a penalty call on that play. Yeah, it looks like he got chopped a little bit 
as he's trying to send the puck back in behind the net. Awkwardly goes into the boards. But again, good thing he's not injured. He was able to get up and uh, skate off on his own power there. He'll stay on the bench. That's a good sign, we hope. Wes McCauley and Brandon Trader are the referees tonight. Philip Grubauer with a handle for Giordano. He'll wipe it along. Look out by Shane, but not out. Roussel. Shot taken by Costa Spare is blocked. Good block that time by Nathan Bastion. Shane out to center. Aerial flip comes all the way back in. Icing is called here. 14.32 left in the opening period. How about the effort there from Bastion to get over, lay down, and sacrifice his body, you know, to block that shot from Costa Spare. Costa Spare is Arizona's leading scorer. But with only six points in their 11 games. It's been a struggle. They have a first year coach. He has a promising future. Andre Tourney did an outstanding job in junior hockey with the Canadian national program. First year here with Arizona. Phil Kessel clears it by Ben McCartney. Tonight is his second NHL game. Icing here against Arizona. First real miscue from either team in their neutral zone play. Both teams have been getting up and down the ice pretty quickly here to start the game. You pointed out that the Coyotes played last night in Anaheim. A late goal from Gosta Bear lost the game three to one. Anaheim's playing well of late. Off the draw, the Kraken are trying to keep pace in the Pacific Division where Arizona used to be. Now they're in the central for the first time. Played along the boards. Dug out by Schwartz. It eludes Eberle and it comes back to Chikrin. He'll take it back. He's had a tough start. He's their best defenseman. He logs all the minutes. But he's a minus 18 already because he has prime matchups every night. Out to center. Chikrin. Through the center zone for Kraus, he'll step in. He's defensively marked by Carson Soucy. It's a tough pass, broken up. Clayton Keller cycles high, picked off by Seattle's Alex Wenberg. He turns it over. Coyotes get to it. Strawman down the wall. Out in front, good back check. Good play by Wenberg, but he gave it away again. Then Schwartz pickpockets Keller, and finally, Seattle gets it out. A roll of change. They're careful with it. Now Larson with a tight turn. Here's Tanev. Brandon Tanev through the middle of the ice. Gains the zone, a self pass. He'll go deep. He had five hits against Buffalo on Thursday. Larson moved in by Gord. Tanev, the inside track supported by Yanni Gord. Yarncrook with a shot blocked. Good block by Cam Deneen. He'll knock it down. He'll play it along the wall. Tanev all over Erickson. A loose puck. Tanev will get to it. Played off the boards, picked off by the Coyotes and back out. You're looking at Christian Fisher. He'll cut across. He's defended by Hayden Fleury. He goes in on the four check. He's hit hard by Adam Larson. Out of the corner, Fleury will get to it with help here from Yanni Gord, one of two Seattle goal scorers so far. A reset for Fleury. Seattle is changing up front. Larson walks it out. Now Flurry through the middle. Awaiting him is Jay Beagle and then Dimitri Ashkin. It's cleared in. Gostas Bear. Next to Philadelphia. Left of the corner. Donato, no worse for wear. That's a good sign. Through the slot, interrupted by Dyson Mayo. In his seventh NHL game, it comes out to center. And Jay Beagle now will clear it in. Mark Giordano has time. 11.52 left in the opening period. A loose play, a turnover. Giordano, what a recovery on Dmitry Yashkin. At the point. Labushkin to the outside. Chikrin with a blast wide on the stick side of Grubauer. McCracken get to it. It's Donato sandwiched hard by Ilya Labushkin. Giordano will look it over. What an awkward bounce that was. It was trying to throw the puck behind uh, Gio and it ends up hitting his skate and going right back out in front of the net. Wow. Alexiak moved along by Bastion. Icing is called here. Never got to Bastion. That's why it's icing. So with 11-17 left in the first, a face-off in Kraken Ice. 
a couple of chances there both ways both teams right now have been playing extremely fast moving getting pucks in getting them deep and going to work on the four track. Riley Shan will take this face off for Seattle. Off the draw taken back Deneen sends it in. Now Hayton to the point of shot body down by Grubauer big shot by Anton Strahlman out of the corner. It ricochets around killer shot great stop by Grubauer right on the spot there and Seattle survives they get it out Wedgwood out to get it they'll leave it for Cam Deneen he's from Tom's River New Jersey out to center now he's off Kessel he's all the way back icing is called here and the face off will be in the Coyote zone. Phil Kessel thought he got a piece of it, but I guess not. So the faceoff comes back in his team zone. It's a big time save, though, on Grubauer on Keller. He stole the puck right out in front. He's able to get a good look. Grubauer stands up to the pass, though. For Phil Kessel, this is consecutive game number 912, fourth all time. And he is just a couple in back of Gary Unger. He did the majority of his work with St. Louis way back when, when I was young. Now it's cleared, and that's a long time ago. Now it's centered out in front. It was off a stick, and the Coyotes will escape harm. Knocked out of midair by Vince Dunn. Pummeled by McCartney. Grubauer leaves it for Carson Soucy. Shots are even at four. Score is not. Kraken by one. Through the center zone, it goes by Brandon Tanev. Yarn poke. On Young Mayo, Gord out in front. Great save by Wedgwood. Arizona gets to it. Out to center, Fisher going wide. Travis Boyd picked up nicely by Adam Larson. Gord rallies for it. Out of the scrum. Louis Erickson this way to the point. Elia Labushkin. Read by Seattle's Hayden Flurry. Gord, Flurry, and now Boyd for the Coyotes. Moved along by Erickson. Chikrin popping out. Fisher pounded by Gord. Gord pushes it outside the blue line. Arizona has to tag up, they do. And the Kraken take over. Good strong play by Yanni Gord. Went through the puck and through the body at the same time. Put both at the same time. Was able to hold him up there right outside. Puck is cleared in the screen. We get a stoppage of play. 9.09 left in period number one. A wild start in the desert here tonight. As the Kraken get the ball rolling early on goals by Jordan Everly. And seconds later, Yanni Gore. It's Seattle 2, Arizona 1. Ah, uh, yes, Kraken Nation, Arizona chapter. They're all over the building here tonight. Great to see JT. It's easy to see. It's easy to spot. Oh, yeah. You just love. You love Seattle's colors. Yep. It makes it easy to see and easy to spot, even from way up here in the booth. They're outside the building on a beautiful day. This team is in an all-out rebuild. To be fair to Arizona, they have a ton of draft choices in the upcoming draft. They have three first-round picks. Eight total picks in the first couple of rounds, and a goal off a turnover. Nathan Bastion has his first as a Seattle Kraken. 8.56 left in the first period. The Kraken up by a deuce. Great to see that hard work get rewarded. Bastion's going to get a, a nice lucky bounce right out to the middle. He's in the right spot at the right time. The puck is thrown in. McCormick hard on the back check. Right to Bastion in front. He does a nice little move to his backhand. Is able to get around Wedgwood for an empty net. You have the diving stick save there. Potential. But Bastion makes no mistake and puts it in. The four check creates the chaos. And that is a perfect illustration of that, JT. McCormick, first man pressure. Chikrin had a tough time. Rabushkin, even worse. And Bastion gets the catch. Gord has a man in front and never got through. It was broken up. EQC scoring summary. Nathan Bastion. 
Historic moment for him at 11.04, unassisted goal. Don't be fooled by the stat there. Well, they, they, they work so hard on the forecheck, it's always good to see right. those bounces end up going their way. Dean now reverses right to Schwartz. Jaden Schwartz goes to work, he'll cycle out. Lay it back, cradled by Susie. fought off. Off the glove hand of Wedgwood. Vince Dunn, this way for Carson Susie. His shot stopped by Wedgwood. The rebound, he got that one. Off the stick of Wenberg. Really good, really good offensive sequence there from Seattle. You like to see that on the shift after a goal. Susie rolls it across for Dunn. He's hounded. Johan Larson stops in a dime, draws it back, lays it along. Dunn takes it away from Phil Kessel. Then he turned it over to McCartney. Out in front for Larson. Good read by Carson Susie to break it up. The Kraken back out. 7.30 left, period one. 3 to 1 Seattle. John Forsland, JT Brown. Tonight from Glendale, Arizona. Just outside Phoenix, through center. It's cleared in. Icing against the Kraken. The scoring of the Seattle goal. He's not going to assist the number 21, Alex Wenberg. That goal now reads Everly, his sixth of the season from Wenberg. Time to go 15 seconds in the first period. On the second Seattle goal, he's not front of an assist. Second straight period scoring three goals. They do it back to back fashion. That's a good thing. They're adding assists all over the map here. They've added an assist to Wenberg on the game's first goal scored by Everly. We'll keep you up to date. Just for the folks at EQC. Now it's cleared all the way back in out of the corner. Left in back of the goal. And the Kraken get to it. The person that Vince done a stretch pass for Tanev. Wide of the target, icing again. You gotta make sure you get it right, John. Everybody needs their cookie. It's right. You can go home happy. They have great cookies down the hall here, you know. I did have one already. You did? Yes, I, I did, did not. Not at this stage of life. Fans, don't miss your chance to see the Kraken live at Climate Pledge Arena. Very limited number of select tickets available now. Be part of history for the inaugural season. Go to Ticketmaster.com for tickets. I could twist my arm and I'd probably have a nice chocolate chunk to have down there. Right off the metal, Jacob Chikrin off the face off. The near post. Now Labushkin hammers one cross corner. Bastion spins off of Jay Beagle. Geeky hog tied a bit, he stays with it. Roussel has the puck, he was all over Geeky. Antoine Roussel dumps it in. Alexiak will get on it. He'll start a breakout. Strawman stepping up on Bastion. And another icing is called here against Seattle. There's no quit in this Coyotes team. You've seen it each time after Seattle has scored. They've come back and had a couple of good looks themselves. Big physical hockey. They're not going away. Face off. Controlled by Arizona. Deneen with a shot stopped by Grubauer. The pest out in front was big. Lawson Kraus. Kraus is 6'4", 215, out to center. Bastion put himself offside. We get a stoppage. Six ten left in the opening period here in Glendale, Arizona. Dave Haxtell loves the start here in the desert. Nathan Bastion has made it three to one. Kraken. By McDonald's Mick Delivery. Never miss the on ice action with Mick Delivery. Download the McDonald's app to start your order now. And by Virginia Mason Franciscan Health, the official medical care provider of your Seattle Kraken. Barrett Hayton, first round pick out of the corner. Gostas Bear walks the line. He's off the stick of Seattle's Hayden Fleur. He's punished a bit by Kraus. John and JT back with you tonight from Gila River Arena. To the wall, sealed off by the Kraken's Kelly Yarncroke, stolen by the Coyotes' Shane Gostas Bear. He'll lay it back for Dyson Mayo. Indirect pass by Keller. Out to the center zone. We're looking at Hayden Fleury. 
Paired on defense with Adam Larson. Now it's laid back again. Larson through the middle. Off the end board, Schwartz bouncing around. The Coyotes get to it. Johan Larson off the stick of Phil Kessel. Dunn sends it back for a reset. This is Susie. He's off the stick of Jordan Eberle. He's all the way back in. Mayo to the corner, pressed by Wenberg, and now Ben McCartney. Out of the Western Hockey League, out to center. Corralled by Labushkin, he'll send it in. Off the stick of Grubauer, rimmed out by Dunn. Played by Schwartz. They move it across for Eberle, good play, gapping up by Chikrin. Eberle gets it back, though. Jordan Eberle moves it all the way around. Racing in on a change, Giordano. He'll move it in out of the corner, Wenberg. Hassled a bit, Mark Giordano looks to the slot. Shot taken right through the blue. Wedgwood taken down, a collision with Everly. And then he took care of that shot from the point. Out of the corner. Goes over the stick of Jaden Schwartz. Kessel out to center for Ben McCartney. Cut off, knocked down by Susie. Forged down by Seattle's Jonas Donskoy. Still looking for his first goal. The Coyotes rewind, back out. Little chip for a change by McCartney. Now Flurry moved along out of the corner. Made along by Alexiak. Yarn Kroken back for Geeky with a head of steam. Here he comes. Marked by three. One of those is Travis Boyd. Here's Donskoy in back of the goal. This way for Yarn Kroak. From the half boards, he'll send it in. It never got there. Broken up by Deneen. And it's brought out here by Christian Fisher. He'll dump it in. He's defended by Hayden Flurry. The Coyotes get to it. Move it all the way back in their own territory. I really think this pace can help Seattle. You don't want to look too far ahead, but this team did play last night. Seattle should have the fresher legs, and it's been a very fast-paced first period. Along the boards, nice read by Susie. Shakes free of Yashkin. It goes deep out of the corner. Bastion barrels in. Beagle is there, 83 in the dark sweater, helped out by Gostas Bear. It goes high, out of play in the screen. That'll stop action. 3.20 left in period number one. Great to see Kraken fans in the house on their way in and taking in this great game tonight in the desert. The bank save of the game. A nice indirect one-timer from Strawman. Grubauer's in the right position, right time. Keller with a good steal right out in front. And again, it's Grubauer standing strong, and it's all about the timing of these saves to keep the lead. When, right when the Coyotes were having a little bit of a push, Grubauer shuts the door. You're right, it was a good push. Seattle, the first two goals. The lead cut in half on the marker by Antoine Roussel. After that, that save. And then Nathan Bastion has given Seattle their second two-goal lead thus far. Giordano laid off the boards. Held in by Jay Beagle. Roussel moves in aggressively. Now Jamie Oleksiak to the outside. Knocked down, pawed down by Gostaspear. Here's Beagle, Shane Gostaspear. Roussel with a shot blocked. But off Giordano, and it goes out of play. A couple of good five-foot passes from the Coyotes to set up this play. Roussel got a really good look, started in the neutral zone. Roussel's going to find Beagle setting a little bit of a pick for himself. It looks like it may have been blocked by Gio there. A legal pick, maybe illegal, but it wasn't called, so it's a legal pick. That's right. It's just the bottom line, right? Just the facts, Mr. P.I. It's the world you live in. Until it's called, it's legal, right? That's right. That's right. That's all that matters. Everything else, JT, is just noise. Now off the draw. Hayden Flurry plays it off the boards, back out. 240 left in the first. Three to one, Seattle. Fed in by the Kraken's Max McCormick. Labushkin given a shove. Centering pass, broken up, not out. That was Deneen, now it goes deep. Bastion, McCormick's shot blocked in front. Good sturdy play by Dyson Mayo out in front of Wedgwood. Shan, Bastion with a power move. He'll chop one wide. Good work by Seattle's fourth line. They work extremely hard on the forecheck. They will change. 
who were able to pin the Coyotes in their own zone. Knocked out of midair by Susie. Tracking back is Wenberg. Kraken reestablished their breakout. Moved along by Everly. Deneen, 54, gets to it for Arizona. Wenberg is all over him. Schwartz dug it out. Now done. Played along by Schwartz. Cam Deneen. He's brought out of the zone by Johan Larson. Little dump and chase with Ben McCartney, who's hit and taken down aggressively by Carson Soucy. Pops out. A power move doesn't work. Walking out of the corner was Phil Kessel. Strawman. Snap deep now and all the way around. Out of the corner. Coyotes will play it now along the wall one more time with Kessel. Strawman through traffic wide. Here comes Cam Deneen. He'll get to it. Turned out. Stick save by Grubauer. Wenberg gave it away to Larson. McCartney. Deneen with a shot. Fought off and smothered by Philip Grubauer. Good on Grubauer to reach back and get that puck, kind of settle things down. Coyotes had a couple of good chances, good looks. Offense was moving around. He's able to go back into the trapezoid, grab that puck, settle the play down. Just managed the game, right? A few turnovers there, and they just want to get a breath, get a change in, slow it down. Get a new line out. There's right. guys that have been out that are tired. Smart play from the goaltender there. Face off, controlled by Arizona. Louis Erickson, flushed out by Yanni Gord. Costa Spare faking. He'll take it wide, walk in. A shot stopped, no rebound, given up by Grubauer. Gossesper has that offensive ability. Like you said, he's leading the team in points. A really good mobile defenseman. He did a fake slap shot, able to get around. Yarn Croak, get the shot towards the net. That's some of the good things that they can, or that he can bring for this Coyotes team. Yeah, he's really, what they talk about when they talk about a today's defenseman, right? A guy who plays that offensive game. He's had some major injury concerns with Philadelphia. Made some acquisitions that made him expendable. He played great hockey under Dave Haxtall when Dave was coaching the Flyers along the boards now. Out of the four man strum, it's underneath Dyson Mayo. He gets back up. Erickson lends a helping hand. Sheehan now for Seattle. This way for Giordano. His shot blocked in front, possibly off Donskoy. 15 seconds left in period one. A penalty is called here. Arizona gets to it. It will go against Seattle and an injury on the far side. Riley Sheehan. I think they're going to get both. Penalty on Alexiak and then as well for a high stick that was happened to Sheehan right there. So it looks, I'm going to guess right now. Yeah. He said don't speculate. That's all right. But that's what I think is going to happen. Okay. Or that's what should happen. Okay. Arizona had the puck. Two minute minor high sticking. Seattle number 24, two minutes cross checking. We'll see it right here, JT. You never know if they're going to catch both the penalties when this happens. A cross check, I don't necessarily agree with that. He has one hand on his stick. It's pretty hard to cross check somebody uh, for that one, but you're going to see right there, that's where Shea gets the stick up high. Just not sure that they can call that a cross check there. It will open up the ice with 8.8 seconds left in the first. Seattle has a four on four goal this season. Arizona does not. They've yielded one. Jay Beagle, who's been great in his career in the faceoff circles, booted out. Clayton Keller will cross sticks with Alex Wenberg. Wenberg wins the draw. Flurry moves it out to the center zone. Chikrin protects the puck. Forces an offside at the horn, and that's all. A good first period for Seattle. Kraken, Kraken intermission presented by Jack in the Box is coming up next. And the Seattle Kraken, an early flurry started by Jordan Everly. Seconds later, Yanni Gord. Then Antoine Roussel was heard from. Nathan Bastion with his first as a Kraken. And after 20 minutes, it's Seattle 3, Arizona 1.
here in this matchup against the Arizona Coyotes. We're going to do the uh, Chevy Silverado drive to the net, JT, in just a second here. 16 hits for Arizona. My partner said at the top they would come to play in this one, and uh, they have. They had won 13 faceoffs in the first period, and now we get to the Chevy Silverado Northwest Chevy dealers. Thank you. Drive to the net. It's a really good forecheck by McCormick. He gets in, he uses his stick and his body to get in on the forecheck. You see Bastion in the high slot, picks up the loose change, goes right to the front of the net, and it's in the back of the net. First one for number 14 as a Seattle Kraken. And no helper, no assist in the stats for Max McCormick, but he was the first guy in on the forecheck, and he initiated all of that chaotic exchange that gave Arizona's defense a tough time. Two goals in the first minute of this game tonight for Seattle. They become only the fourth team in the last 20 years to do that in the NHL on the road. Four on four, we start this second period. The Kraken will be in Las Vegas on Tuesday night against the Golden Knights. The game will be nationally streamed on ESPN+. We're back with you here on Root Sports from Climate Pledge Arena on Thursday night. The Anaheim Ducks in town. We start with pregame coverage presented by Coors Light at 6.30. Adam Larson out in front, rejected by Scott Wedgwood. We place the starting goaltender, Kirill Vemelka. After he surrendered the first two, icing is called here against the Coyotes. They take it back in the Arizona zone. Get a nice play here from Alexiak on the Yanni Gord goal. He's able to fend him off, send Tanev on a rush. Yanni streaking up the left side, and a nice shot right over the top of the glove, which is the goal that ended up allowing uh, Scott Wedwood to get into the game. Jamie Alexiak now has points in three consecutive games, three assists in that time period. Cam Deneen, the rookie in his second game, plays it to the outside, checked by Jordan Everly, and then Kelly Yarncroke. Yarncroak wedging there with Kessel. Deneen takes it back. Antoine Roussel has the Coyotes goal. Comes out to center. This is the first of three meetings. Arizona will be in Seattle on December 21st. The steal. Yarncroak lays it back for Everly. To the middle of the ice. We'll go wide. And they'll rethink it away from Cam Deneen and reorganize through the center zone and back. That much time left in the four on four. Vince Dunn, pestered by Clayton Keller, who has the puck. And he's picked up by Yanni Gord, who has a goal tonight. Lawson Krause, a good look at him. Gostaspare, snappy pass. Chikrin, stopped by Grubauer. The rebound, overskated by Krause. It's held in by Gostaspare. Christian Fisher, Jamie Oleksiak are up and ready. The matching penalties are over. Seattle guilty of icing. Got a little bit of trouble there on that last shift. A little bit of a casual backskate. Keller puts the pressure on Dunn. There's the turnover. And here's a good look at that offensive chance for the Coyotes. Shots up in the air. Grubauer's been able, he's been strong, finding those loose pucks. Bracken. Trying to execute a change here. That might not work. We'll see. It won't. It doesn't always work, but it also just gave the guys on the ice that extra 15 to 20 seconds to catch their breath. KG move, right? You okay. can get away with it only a couple times in a game. Right. We don't believe we see Ryan Donato on the Seattle bench. He was injured in the first period. No official word as of yet. Out of the corner. Alexiak swings it out to center ice. Jacob Chikrin. It's by Grubauer. Crack and get to it. Giordano read by Roussel. That would be a hand pass, but Brandon Tanev takes over. Here come the crack and Donskoy over the line. He throws on the brakes. He'll button hook back. Pass was read. Broken up by Ashkin. He'll take it to the boards. It's knocked down by Riley Shane and now Dimitri Ashkin. Springs Roussel. Antoine Roussel off a stick off Flurry. All the way around. Arizona in the midst of a change. And now Larson. A handoff for Hayden Flurry. 
Played along the wall by Donskoy. No icing. Tyson Mayo in control. Flushed out by Nathan Bastion. He scored his first as a Kraken tonight. Chan. Bastion over the line. He'll take it wide. Fan on it. Rejected by Mayo. Out of the reach of Donskoy. Christian Fisher in the skates of Louis Erickson. Through neutral ice, he'll send it in. Larson readies. Forechecked by Travis Boyd. Moved along by Fleury. A pinch, a good one by Gostas Bear. Fisher side of the goal. They score! Lead right out in front for Travis Boyd, who's back in their lineup tonight. Early in the second period, Arizona within one. You know, this happens you have a chance to get out of the zone. You get a pinch by Gosses Bear to keep this puck in. And it all starts right there, the board battle. He wins it. Boyd standing out in front of Grubauer. He's able to get a nice little one-timer. That's a hard one to do when you're on your strong side like that. And he's excited. Definitely excited to get this game one goal closer. But a good play by Coyotes, keeping the puck in and allowing and getting to the front of the net. And you have a nice little easy goal for him. Travis Boyd, his second goal of the season. Play initiated by Shane Gostaspear. A good pass, primary assist will go to Christian Fisher. A bit of a new story here in the desert. The Kraken now lead by one. Ilya Labushkin, Phil Kessel pops it out. Away they go through center, you're looking at Johan Larson. He'll feed it in. Vince Dunn back first for Seattle. Larson digs it out, fanned on by Kessel in the slot. A close call there, and it comes all the way down to Scott Wedgwood. Out of the corner. The Coyotes break it out. Through the center zone. Over the line and in is Phil Kessel. All the way across a shot. Stopped by Grubauer. What a chance for Ben McCartney. Looking for his first NHL goal. Here comes Brandon Tanev with a power move. That doesn't work. Chickren to the outside. Back out to center. Some energy on the side of the Coyotes. An odd bounce fielded by Wedgwood. And now... Coyotes take over again. New center out of the reach of McCartney, taken back by Giordano. A direct pass over the line, Yanni Gore, defensively marked by Strawman. Tanev shot a weak one, stopped and covered by Scott Wedgwood. Little disturbance in back of him. Luke was in the middle. Of course. A good stop up play by Phil Kessel. And you see that there's a save. He catches it and releases a quick. Grubauer has to be right on for this save. Kind of conflicted though, John. I like the, you know, the up and down. There's chances going both yeah. ways. As a fan, you'd love to see that. But then on the other side, you know, the hockey playing side, you want to limit those chances. You only want those chances coming from one team. So Seattle's got to find a way to be able to make those chances on their offensive side, but limit the Coyotes on the defensive end. The Coyotes with 19 hits in the game. You see the face-offs here. Off the draw, they control it. The coaches will always say, let's not trade chances, right? It's never a good thing no matter what. Gashkin crisscrossing with Beagle a shot. And possibly Grubauer got a piece. Cost to spare. No tip for Yashkin. It stays in play. Schwartz slings it out through center. Shane Goss to spare will take it back. Just about five minutes gone in the second period. John and JT with you as always. Alexiak moves it. Knocked down. Controlled now by Arizona's Jay Beagle. Interrupted by Jamie Alexiak. In scrum in the corner. Dimitri Ashkin is there for the Coyotes. Cleared all the way around for Dyson Mayo to the corner. Arizona attempting to get to it. Morgan Geeky. Mark Giordano has time. The Kraken captain out to center. Chip and charge off the stick of Donskoy, but icing is called here against Seattle. And you want to limit the chances, but that also doesn't mean, you know, they had a two-goal lead that you just park the bus and just sit back yeah. and wait. That's a long time. There's a lot of game left to just wait. So you still want to be on the offensive side of things. You want to think when the play's there, you make the play. But again, you don't want to necessarily go chance for chance or, you know, got to start finding that risk versus reward. And when is it worth it to take those chances? Two young players on the draw. Seattle's Morgan Geeky wins it away from Arizona's Barrett Payton. Donskoy a handoff for Jaden Schwartz. Riding a five-game streak. Coyotes back on it. Hayton sends it along. It's Chikrin. 
Made on the wing by Keller and back out. On a change, Max McCormick takes a hit from Young Hayton. Now it goes across again for Chickren. A quick up for Clayton Keller through the middle, right on the money. Lawson Krause. Good stick by Hayden Flurry, and it's tipped out of play. It's a good stick by Flurry. You have Krause coming in with a lot of speed, but Hayden Flurry is able to keep his stick out, keep him to the outside, not allow him to get back to that forehand, and he has to force a backhand towards the net. Tipped out of play. Flurry in that rotation on the back end. He stays in tonight after stepping out of the lineup for a bit. Carson Soucy is back in. Jeremy Lozon is scratched tonight for Dave Haxtall. Flurry out of the corner, moves it. Knocked down by Labushkin. Ilya Labushkin with a screenshot wide. It careens around. Deneen pays a price, hit hard by Nathan Bastion. Puck is collected by Seattle's Riley Sheehan. Away goes Max McCormick. They lay it back for Flurry. Flurry pulls up on Fisher. Thinks twice. A wrist shot off the glass looking for a tip. Larson drops it off, covering up his McCormick. They move it across for Flurry. Hayden Flurry for the high slot. Sheehan, a turnaround shot blocked by Cam Deneen. Nathan Bastion for the crack and gets help from Riley Sheehan. All the way back for Adam Larson to the high slot. Bastion give and go with Larson off a stick. Stays in play. Christian Fisher has it for the Coyotes. He'll pump it out. 13-20 left in the second period. 3-2 Seattle. First of two straight on the road. Larson for Schwartz. Moved across off a stick. Wenberg hounded that time. Ben McCartney is on him. Now Schwartz gets help from Everly. It goes deep. Schwartz shoved by Labushkin. Wenberg for Everly. Right off the crossbar. What a chance for Jordan Everly. To see that line's chemistry working again. A hat trick for Everly Thursday. The first goal tonight. Seattle's offside. We get a stoppage of play. 12.46 left in the second period. A little heavy metal in the desert. Jordan Everly in the garden spot right off the bar. Stick around. Well, a great American-born player, just a great player overall. Phil Kessel, Symmetra teammates tonight. We talked about this earlier. JT, we can talk about this. This is amazing stuff right here. We've already seen Keith Yandel in Philadelphia. Phil Kessel, 9-12 straight. That's an amazing accomplishment, but I'll tell you what, my body hurts just thinking about playing 912 games straight. Amazing. You have to have some luck too, right? But every player plays through an abundance of situations in this sport. Aaron Croak will play it in. Doug Jarvis, the old Hartford Whaler at the top of the list. Gary Younger, that name, he was a sensational center. Out of the corner, now it's rolled in. Tanev, low to high, just by Oleksiak. All the way down to Philip Grubauer. Moving along, just about eight minutes gone in the second period. Glendale, Arizona. John and JT, Alexia with Chip. Chikrin now coming back. He's paired on defense with Costa Spear. Slides it across for Jacob Chikrin. First round pick, 2015. Over the line now, Roussel, easy chance, smothered by Grubauer. Thought we might have a little something brewing there between McCormick and Roussel. Nothing doing. Oh. That's good, though. Yeah. Antoine Roussel, born in France. There's Pierre Edouard Belmar. There's Alexander Texier in Columbus. Three players I can think of from France. We have official word on Ryan Donato. Upper body injury will not return. We thank the Kraken PR staff, Ben Guerrero, for that. Bit of information He's traveling with the Kraken. It's a great job along with his staff. Out of the corner now, Chan. Yashkin moves it. Flurry gets to it. Out to center rights. Strawman moved along. Panning on it was Yashkin. 
He'll attempt to get back to it. Bastion moves it to himself nicely. Here they come. Nathan Bastion with Max McCormick, who goes to the corner. Moves it to the point. Hayden Flurry, a little backhand shovel. Bastion out in front. And the shin guard to McCormick back again. Here's Flurry. Swatted at by Shan. Moved in by McCormick. Bastion. He establishes the cycle. Larson sends it in. Zone time here, partial change. Schwartz is fresh. Flurry this way for Larson. He'll take it downstairs. He'll circle the track. Lay it along now for Jordan Everly. He's fresh in a change too. A long change in the second. Over the stick of Wenberg. Picked up by Jay Beagle. He's shouldered by Larson, but he got it deep so Arizona can change. He's a really good shift, but the only problem is the putt was on the outside the entire time. Wenberg defers. It's Schwartz. He'll take it in. He goes down on his own accord. He's picked up by Clayton Keller. Nice pinch by Vince Dunn. He'll paw it. The Coyotes take over. Turned along the wall now. Hayton got it out. His opposite number, Dunn, took over. It's an available puck. Swung out by Vince Dunn. Cam Deneen ahead of Alex Wenberg. Clayton Keller. Dead center for Kraus. Here they come. Well, Dangle in, taken care of, and frozen by Philip Grubauer. He gets a snow shower. And a little pushing and shoving for good measure. Kraus and Susi. The linesmen quickly move in. 9.55 left in the second period. This is not about dinner plans, trust me. So, it's 3-2 Seattle. A beautiful night in the desert. Plus, Climate Pledge Arena mobile app is here. Get live updates throughout the game. Search Kraken Plus Climate Pledge Arena in your app store today. And she's on it right now. You know that, right? 100%. I believe everything you tell me. <laughs> That's your first mistake. Face off controlled by the Kraken. Alexia. Goes by Bastion. Wedgwood out to get it. Moved along. Gostas Bear, Shane Gostas Bear, won a national championship at Union College. Through center. It goes by Louis Erickson, icing against Arizona. Shane Gostas Bear, JT, has been one of their better players tonight. That he has. He's been moving, moving his legs. That's the part of his game, that offensive side. We've seen a couple of times already where he's made some good moves along the blue line, and that's something they're going to continue to look for him to do for the rest of the game. These guys are trying to stay positive. They're seeking their first win. Off the draw, Alexiak. Gord with a shot rubbed out by Boyd. It goes to the corner. Travis Boyd. Arizona's second goal. Mayo went down. Boyd gets to it. He'll move it. Floated out by Louis Erickson. Cleared all the way back down. No icing. They play on. 9-11 left in the second period. Shots are 15 for the Coyotes. 13 for the Kraken. Where it counts Seattle by one. Larson tiptoes in. Canceled hard by Giordano. But he stays with it. Yarncroft. Was Giordano calling for it. Alexiak plays it off the boards, chipped out by Tanev. Good play. A breakout. Yarncroft with a shot. Good stick by Labushkin. Arizona coming back to it. Out to the center zone, Larson. Cross ice pass. Up from the D is Cam Deneen. Written off it by Adam Larson. Larson kicks it out. Jonas Donskoy has the puck. Through center for Hayden Fleury. Away from Larson, a self pass. He'll go in. Seattle, a partial change. Awaiting at the point is Adam Larson. A wrist shot through traffic is stopped by Wedgwood. He'll hang on. Another good four checking shift from McCormick. He gets the puck right up, right up to Larson and goes right to the front of the net. First chance here by Yarncroft, but it's a good stick by Labushkin to knock it out of the way. Larson gets that shot in on net. McCormick right at the blue paint, looking for the rebound. 
Adam Larson's been tireless. That's what he did last season and for the last five years with Edmonton. And the Rice Time leaders played just under 25 minutes Thursday night. He's got it. McCormick canceled by Beagle. Loose puck. Roussel chopped at by Larson. Chikrin inside his own line. Wedged in the zone by Beagle. Wandering out is Grubauer. Adam Larson plays it off the window. McCracken get it out, but it's drawn back by Anton Strollman. Coyotes turn it over. Flurry. McCormick and now Donskoy in the zone. Moving up on Strollman. He stops. Lays it back. Schwartz, it goes high off the glass. Caden Schwartz let it go for Morgan Geeky. Geeky takes it away from the pressure from Jay Beagle. It's settled down by Everly. They'll rim it up top for Carson Soucy. To the outside, turning is Everly. This way, one-timer done is swallowed up by Wedgwood. Another good shift for Seattle. They had a lot of puck movement along the outside, guys skating around, but eventually on this time, they're able to get the puck to the net with Dunn versus the last time we saw them skating around the outside doing the drop passes. They kind of left it on the outside. This time you have bodies in front and you get the puck to the net. Those are the shifts you like to see from Seattle. The game was not a minute old when Scott Wedgwood was told to get in there and replace the starting goaltender. Kirill Vemelka, who's played so well this season in all of those losing efforts. It's a tough start for him. And to their credit, Arizona has built a game. Out of the corner. Done. Seattle coming off their win Thursday night at home, starting a two-game road trip. Barrett Hayton plays it all the way around. A pinch by Mayo. He'll get to it. He's guarded by Schwartz. Up top, Clayton Keller will dance with it. Hinging in, Gosta Spare circling the track. Grubauer ready for the wraparounder from Gosta Spare. Schwartz, good play for Wenberg. Seattle's free out to center. Open ice. Wenberg has Everly this way. He'll button hook. Alex Wenberg, Giordano again stopped. No rebound given up by Scott Wedgwood. Get to see the offense from Gossespair again. He's jumping up into the play from the blue line. Doesn't have anything because of Dunn going down. Wraparound attempt. Grubauer really good from post to post on this play. Mark Giordano looks over the allotment here with 6.29 left in the second period. Face off one by Gord. Alexiak feeds it in for Tanev. Pass never got through, rejected by Chikrin. Back it goes. Here's Jamie Alexiak. And the big rig will play it outside the line. Giordano waiting for his teammates here to tag up. Chikrin plays it. For Fisher, a pinch by Giordano. Arizona in control. Louis Erickson with a shoot in. Kelly Yarn broke is finished off by Travis Boyd. A steal for Fisher. He's wrapped up by Giordano. He's scrum along the boards. It kicks out to Yanni Gord. Fisher again. He'll power out. Yarn broke. We'll get to it. Through center ice. Anton Strollman getting to it. Under six minutes left here in the second period. Stretch pass, a good one. Here come the Coyotes. Louis Erickson pulls up to the wall. Pass detected, brought out of the zone by Riley Sheehan. Steal away from Christian Fisher now. Deneen. Outside the line and in, Johan Larson. Knocked down by Alexia. Labushkin for Arizona. Recaptured by Max McCormick. He'll feed it all the way across. Deneen gets to it. Clear it all the way around. Alexiak tries this side. Larson furthers the puck. Deneen, Larson to the point. Ilya Labushkin moving in. Back of the goal. Good play that time with his stick by Adam Larson. Now Larson, that being Johan Larson of Arizona, let it go. He's off a stick, back out, Labushkin, broken up, out to center ice. 4.47 left in the second period. Coyotes cross the line, it's frozen by Grubauer. No further play, we'll step aside. Four minutes, 43 seconds left to go in the second period here in Glendale, Arizona, where the Kraken have a one-goal lead. 
brought to you by Emerald Queen Casino. Emerald Queen Casino is giving away two tickets plus $5,000 for the big game. Visit the EQC mobile app for more details. 3-2 Seattle. Late stages of the second period. John Porcelain, JT Brown, back inside Gila River Arena. Kraken will stay here at a team function tomorrow on an off day. We'll practice in Las Vegas on Monday, take on the Golden Knights Tuesday night at T-Mobile Arena, where they started this first season. Grubauer, Larson, wrapped up along the boards, tied up, four-man scrum. Shots even at 16. On the big board, the Kraken have a one-goal lead. McCartney at the point, Pepper broken up, open ice. Jonas Donskoy with Nathan Bastian, delayed penalty. His shot sizzles high off the glass of Kareen's out of play. And Seattle gets the power play. Arizona number 90, two minute minor high sticking. Donskoy is going to do a good job at the blue line, keeping the stick out, poking it past, and you see 90 goes right over the top. Gets a little bit right there on the shoulder of Donskoy. They're going to get a high stick there. Good opportunity for Seattle right now to extend the lead on the power play. Morgan Geeky scored at the tail end of a power play, the first goal of the game against Buffalo Thursday night. The Kraken have gone six games without a power play goal. 0 for 19 in their last five. Giordano, Yanni Gore. Moved up top. In the ring board, he'll hammer one off a stick wide off Mayo out in front of the defenseman. Short-handed, here come the Coyotes. Jay Beagle, wide of Giordano. Helping out is Jaden Schwartz. Muckle shoot casino power play ensues. Schwartz over the line. Moved in by Chikrin. It deflects out of play. 123 left in the manpower advantage. As a player, I always say that that save by Wedgwood is luck. As a goalie, they're always going to say in skill, hits the knob of his stick on the one-timer. You think there's so much room and how small the knob is on a stick that you actually hit that. But nonetheless, it was a good opportunity for Gord on the offside for that one-timer. Morgan Geeky, Alex Wenberg, Brandon Tanev, Jonas Donskoy, and Vince Dunn. That's the group of five for Seattle. Arizona had a tough time killing off penalties. They are 32nd in the 32 team league. Now done. Holding on to it. Here's Geeky, supported by Wenberg, who has it now. Center point for Vince Dunn, guarded by Johan Larson. Wenberg with a shot wide at the near post. A heavy hit in back of the goal. Geeky all over Antoine Roussel, wound out by Donskoy. The handoff for Dunn, taking the one-timer is Wenberg. Dunn surveys. Alex Wenberg was calling for it. Dunn one more time. Wenberg, read by Johan Larson, slapped out of the zone. Dumped out by Antoine Roussel. 35 seconds left in the power play. One shot on the power play so far. Dunn. Tried to slingshot it back. Arizona now will just draw it back in their own zone and salt away more time. It goes by Young Mayo. Moved along by Schwartz for Everly. Jordan Everly, Jaden Schwartz. Up top, Yanni Gord. Around the horn again. Done for Schwartz. A shot stopped by Wedgwood. Good rebound control. Gord punished by Labushkin. Two seconds on the power play, and the Coyotes kill it off. McCartney's out of the box. Seattle goes deep with it. Ilya Labushkin in control, flushed out by Jaden Schwartz. 1.55 left in the second period. 3-2 Seattle. Clayton Keller, forced. Bumped a bit by Oleksiak. To the wall, Gord. Labushkin, high slot. Boyd in front, gets it. Blocked off his own man, McCartney. Beautiful pass by Clayton Keller to initiate that. Deneen blocked in front by Yanni Gord, recaptured by Boyd. Gusta Spare. They work it around. Louis Erickson back again for Gostas Bear. No shooting lane. 
Coyotes pop out. Gosses Bear again, well wide with no tip. It goes by Danino for nice. Two on one, possibly Gord. If they hurry, Yanni Gord's out of gas, but he sets up Giordano. Blocked and scooped up by Wedgwood on the follow up. After it went off, Shane Gostaspear. That might be the first time I've seen Yanni Gord tired this year. He had a long shift on the power play, just not enough steam to get past and create a, a clear two on one. Smart play, he pulls up, finds Shahan for the shot, ends up getting blocked by Gostaspear. But what a, a what a long shift, but a good shift. Even with being tired, the smarts to, to pull up and find Shahan for that opportunity. See Yanni's line tonight so far. Wenberg, Donskoy, Bastion now for Dave Hackstall. Wenberg is kicked out. Johan Larson takes the draw, loses it for the Coyotes. Here's Adam Larson. No relation. It goes deep. Bastion along the boards, holding on to it now to the outside of Strawman. He'll stop on a dime, take it in. Donskoy holding on to it out of the corner. Peppered again by Johan Larson. Goes by Nathan Bastion. Under a minute left in the second period. Wenberg. Low to high. Flurry shot blocked in front by Dmitry Yashkin, and now it's carried out. Johan Larson, for Arizona, good back pressure by Wenberg. Yashkin came across for Arizona now. Bastion goes high with it, back out. Chopped at, a giveaway by Chikrin. Here comes Bastion, going wide. Tried to create a passing lane, rejected by Jacob Chikrin. He'll get control. 27 seconds left in the second period. Travis Boyd has the goal for Arizona in the second period, which has brought them within one. Flurry tied up, moved along by Barrett Hayton. And now Clayton Keller all the way across for Costas Bear. To play it off the boards. Flurry will get to it. Four seconds left in the period. Hayden Flurry punished hard by Jay Beagle, but he gets it out at the expiration of time. Stay connected for Kraken Intermission presented by Verizon. Coming your way next. Break for the boys from Seattle. Being pushed hard by Arizona seeking their first win. After 40 minutes of play in Glendale, the Kraken three, the Coyotes two. centerpiece JT the goal summary tonight they started the first period very quickly with this one from Jordan Eberle 15 seconds into the game nice play behind the net you have Alexiak using that big strong frame to muscle out muscle the opponent Yanni Gord streaks down the left side a nice shot over the glove and then finally the third one the hard work pays off for this line Bastion out in front he's able to sneak the backhand along the ice and a third goal for the Seattle Kraken We'll take a look at numbers made easy presented by Geico. You don't see it too often, but tonight Arizona has out hit Seattle. Seattle checked in tonight before the game number four in the entire league in hits, but it's 29 over 15 for the Coyotes so far. So they have proven to be a worthy opponent with a record of 0 10 and 1. Obviously aching for a win. Jordan Eberle and the Kraken, well, they want to continue what happened Thursday night when he scored the first ever hat trick in the history of the Seattle Kraken. String a couple of wins together. Enjoy yourselves for a couple of days of good hard practice and then a game against Vegas on Tuesday night. The opening face off of the third period sponsored by Snoqualmie Casino Sportsbook. Game Tuesday night from Las Vegas will be streamed on ESPN Plus. This is Everly with a bomb, and Scott Wedgwood got a piece of it. Out of the corner, let go by Jordan Everly. Jaden Schwartz right off the goaltender. The follow up is stopped. Wenberg had the opportunity. As the Kraken come calling early in this third period, Dimitri Ashkin will take it back, shadowed by Schwartz. He's got it. Ashkin takes him down. And Dimitri Ashkin on the wall for Phil Kessel. Arizona back out. Seattle tried to get another one early. The Wedgwood with an unbelievable save. Johan Larson up top. It's Kraus. He scores! Lawson Kraus. 
Left alone gets a pass from Johan Larson. This game is tied. We, we see it all the time, the momentum. You have a chance on one end and then a goal down on the other end. First, you're gonna take a look at Schwartz coming from behind the goal line, banks it off the pads. A great chance from Wenberg. And now you have Larson Krauss on the other end, right in the slot, and he's able to blow one past Grubauer. That momentum up and down, you yeah. see it all the time. A big save on one end and a goal on the other. So now the Kraken have to stem the tide. Lawson Kraus, third goal of the season. Three's on the board. Just about one minute gone in this third period. Barrett Hayton clears it all the way around. His whistle dead offside at the line. Jacob Chikrin and Johan Larson get the helpers on the goal by Lawson Kraus. Johnny Gord, Brandon Tanev, Kelly Arncroke for Seattle. The Beagle line comes out for Arizona through the center ice area by Tanev. Nice and Mayo, supported by Beagle. At his side, McCartney, Ben McCartney, Jay Beagle right in. Just high, and maybe a piece for Grubauer. Roussel out of the corner. Canceled by Jamie Oleksiak. They jam for it. It goes back for Gostas Pair. He'll dust it off a couple of times. Lay it along for Dyson Mayo. In the ring, a fan opportunity by McCartney. And it's lugged out to center by Jamie Oleksiak. Gord a steal. Out in front of Chance. Wedgwood said no on Nathan Bastion. Bastion out of the corner. Winds it off a stick blocked by Louis Erickson. Shane Gostas Pair sails it out. The Kraken converge. McCormick steps in the zone, threads it across, shifting his Shea He's right in, denied by Wedgwood. McCormick up top. Vince Dunn walks the line, lays along for Matt McCormick, and now Riley Shea moving in on Jay Beagle. Shea holding on to it. Max McCormick in front, hand on by Bastion. Max McCormick will get to it. Bastion again sings it across off the stick of Dunn. He had a yawning cage to the corner now. Riley Shea holding on to it. He'll cycle out with it. Vince Dunn. His option is McCormick. McCormick along the boards to the corner. Don Skoy back for Dunn. McCormick going off on a change. Wrapped in by Susie all the way around. Dunn goes down the wall. Plays it up top. Carson Susie moves in. Don Skoy has it. Kicked out. Geeky shot denied by Wedgwood. Geeky got it back. Then he was thwarted. Shane Gostas Bear lays it along where it's fished out of the zone by Louis Erickson. Really good response from Seattle after giving up that third goal. Carson Soucy will lug it out. Indirect pass forged in by Kelly Yarncroke. Elia Labushkin all the way around. Out to center. And off by Boyd and now Fisher. Christian Fisher by Flurry. Larson says hello. Adam Larson. Moving up on him. Jam along the boards. Hayden Flurry, Geeky, Boyd out of the pileup. The Kraken in control. They get it out. Cam Deneen gets to it. In his second NHL game. He made his debut last night in Anaheim. He'll take it back. Arizona changing. The Kraken in defensive posture through the middle of the ice. Cleared in. Yashkin, shouldered hard by Hayden Flurry. Flurry went down, Adam Larson this way, Jaden Schwartz. He'll dangle out the center to the outside on a crisscross with Everly. Back for Schwartz, just over his stick. Schwartz now Wenberg. In front for Everly, shut down a couple of times. Scott Wedgwood has been outstanding at the outset of this third period. Seattle's had a lot of good looks, even after surrendering that first goal. Yanni Gore with a nice pass. Bastion gets a backhanded chance on a short little break. Geeky with a nice one-timer right at the top of the slot. And then you have the last one right out in front for Everly. Wenberg's able to find him, get one or two good whacks at it. Wedgwood staying strong and has been playing well. The Kraken just have to stick with the program. They're mounting chances again. 
They have 23 shots as opposed to 19 off the draw. Alexiak moves it in. Schwartz awaiting. Marked by Chikrin now. Wenberg in back of the goal. He'll dance a bit. Power in front. Off sticks. He gets it. Wenberg taken down. A penalty will be called here on Lawson Kraus. It's a tripping call. Seattle to the power play. Phoenix number 67, two minute minor tripping. Kraus is going to take this penalty. Trying to, well, out there is uh, Wenberg's able, trying to pass it across, but Larson Kraus takes this penalty so that. Uh, Wenberg doesn't have a second opportunity to shoot that puck in at the net. Probably a, a good penalty to take, but for Seattle, it's a good opportunity. Off the draw, Arizona will feed it out. Rubauer will put it on a tee for Mark Giordano. Donnie Gord joining him on this power play with Jordan Eberle, who has the puck. Kelly Yarncroke and Jaden Schwartz. Clean entry. Schwartz banks it in for Gore. Now Giordano. Here's Everly. He'll stretch it out. Giordano surveys center point. Played along for Yanni Gord. He gets it back. The Kraken captain moved in for Everly. Right back for Giordano. Caught by Wedgwood. Good puck movement from Seattle around the outside. They eventually get the shot up top from Giordano. But Arizona's penalty kill likes to just stay on the outside. They're not putting too much pressure when Seattle has the puck. That allows those passes and those shots to be there. A lot of times teams will want to pressure that top person down, try to keep them on one side. Arizona's content with allowing them to just stay in lanes and try to block the shots. Same group of five stays out for Seattle. Johan Larson will take the draw for the Coyotes, opposed by Yanni Gord. That much time in the power play. It squirts out. Eberle's on it. Yarn Crow. His stick was checked. And comes all the way down to Grubauer. A buck 15 left in the Kraken power play in a tie game. Jordan Eberle. Moving by Johan Larson. Gord plays it along for Eberle out of the corner. Gord paid a severe price on the dump in. Now, Giordano around the clock gets it back from Gord. Mark Giordano, Yanni Gord. And it eludes Giordano. He traps the zone nicely. They play on. Gord. Schwartz off a stick off Mayo and flung out of the zone. Good job by Johan Larson. 43 seconds left on the power play. Just about six minutes gone in this third period. Here in Glendale. Alex Wenberg. Right on the money for Don Skoy. Wide of Chikrin to the corner. He'll move it all the way around off the stick of Mayo by Geeky. Corralled by Tanev. Dunn. Awaiting the pass now, he gets it back. Vince Dunn moves it across. Shot taken, stopped by Wedgwood, a good one by Wenberg, and now Tanev is on it. Alex Wenberg out of the corner, taken down by Strollman. Dunskoy back for Dunn. Vince Dunn, waning portion of the power play. Moved along, he gets it back from Wenberg. This way, Geeky shot is stopped by Wedgwood. Three shots in the power play, it's over. Krause is out of the box. 13.29 left in regulation. Here comes Kraus. He's defended by Dunn. A steal, momentary steal by Kraus. It's held in by Gostas Bear. To the corner for Travis Boyd. Boyd out of the corner, taken down by Geeky. Bradley Shea and broken up by Kraus. He's shouldered hard by Larson out of the corner. Adam Larson converging on him. A loose puck. Seattle's Larson. Moved along for Dunn. Heard some footsteps, but he got it out by Gostas Bear. Cam Deneen, a good look at him. He'll wind it up. Stretch pass, eluding Fisher. Grubauer lays it loosely. Larson, right place, right time, out the center. McCormick, a little handoff doesn't work, and you see it come back in Seattle Ice. A lot of back and forth right now. Now Flurry through the middle of the ice with a shoot-in. Corralled by Wedgwood. Scott Wedgwood leads it there. Mayo picked off in a change. The Kraken go to work through the slot. The pass this way for Alexiak from Winberg and now Giordano. Wrist shot wide, no tip available. Loosen back of the goal. Johan Larson has it. He'll move it. Play it to the boards. Cut off a bit by McCormick. Winberg up top on a change. Everly with a shot of Sizzler off the glass. Giordano moves in, crunched by Yashkin. Here come the Coyotes. Kessel 
Lays it back and gets it from Johan Larson. Phil Kessel with a shot blocked by Jamie Oleksiak. It goes deep to the corner for Giordano. Finished off a bit by Johan Larson. Now Everly, the trailer is Schwartz. He's got it. Jaden Schwartz on Strowman. Stops, pulls up. He'll cycle out with it. Jaden Schwartz for Oleksiak. It's let go. And it comes out to center. Phil Kessel will pitch it all the way back. No icing here. Both teams are changing. 11.35 left in regulation time. This is Carson Soucy. Right up the gut and in. Crisscrossing with Yarn Croak. Centering pass. Fanned on by Tanev. Arizona back out. 11.20 left in the third. They push it deep. Jay Beagle on the gallop. Broken up. Getting back beautifully was Yanni Gord. Now Yarn Croak. Brandon Tanev lays it back for Yarn Croak. He'll push it in. Costas Bear finished off a bit by Tanev. Brandon Tanev out in front of Wedgwood for tie. Yanni Gord taken down. They play on. Yarn Croak for Tanev. Turbo from the wall out in front, broken up. And now, the Coyotes are back out. Feathered out for a change by Beagle. They're really getting up and down the ice. Maybe structurally not the best game, but it's fun to watch. Now it's fed in by Adam Larson. Nathan Bastian, who has scored tonight. Don Scoy double teamed in back of the goal. Helped out a bit by Bastian. Known as Don Scoy holding on to it now. He'll wheel out to the point, fumbled by Fleury. Kraus sealed off. Geeky gets it back. Morgan Geeky sends it in. Dyson Mayo saddled up by Don Scoy. Kraus on the boards, moves it across. Gosta Bear through the middle. This is Barrett Hayton. He'll feed it all the way in back with Grubauer. Taken care of by Giordano. Floated out through center. We approach the halfway mark in this third period. Cam Deneen starts the breakout for the Coyotes. Through center ice. Oleksiak holding the fort just inside the line. Giordano moved along. Jamie Oleksiak feeds it in on Scott Wedgwood. Deneen by Shane. Louis Erickson. Through the center ice zone, Lapushkin and now Christian Fisher. Lays it deep in the Seattle zone. Giordano readies for a hit. McCracken snap it out. Yarn broke. Oleksiak, here they come. Seattle is changing. Oleksiak gets it deep in back of the goal. Shane is there. It's out of front. Wedgwood said no. What a chance. Jordan Everly in the right place at the right time. We'll think about it. Standing in his way. Scott Wedgwood, who's been brilliant in this third period. By Jack in the Box's Cheddar Loaded Cheeseburger on a Cheddar Bun, and by Symmetra Life Insurance Company, first founding partner of the Seattle Kraken, and your teammate for whatever lies ahead. Beautiful rink. Very cool. Here at the Westgate Plaza. Outside roof that you don't have to put on three pairs of socks for. <laughs> I'm OK with that. Spoken by a true Minnesotan now, out to center. Land of 10,000 frozen lakes. Susie. Wenberg to the outside, Everly. High slot, Schwartz. He'll corral it, send it back for Susie. Carson Susie. Schwartz let it go. Wenberg to the slot. Good read by Phil Kessel. He'll break it out. He'll go off on a change and dump it in. John and JT tonight from Glendale, Arizona. 8.49 left. Aim leveled off at three on the goal by Lawson Krause. Here comes Jay Beagle. His shot blocker save, Grubauer. Tanneth hit hard by Yashkin. And crack and chop it out. Fed in by Mayo. Grubauer, a handle, a deferral, done. Tanev underneath it and out. Gore to lead pass for Kelly Yarncroke. Good play by Dyson Mayo coming across on him. Now Gord. Shoved by Gostaspare. Yanni Gord shows off his strength. Tanev sticks his nose and Gord again. Good board work here. Gord out of the corner. He'll grind it. Wrestled up against the wall. Tackled by Mayo and pops out. Tanev all over Beagle and now Costa spared to the outside. Arizona survives all of that. They get it out. The lead pass. Dimitri Ashkin moving in. Sidestepping the brunt of that hit from Fleury. Adam Larson to the outside for Bastion, who protects the puck beautifully and gets it out. 
But it was cut off by Cam Deneen, and it goes out of play. 7.46 left in terms of regulation time here in the desert, where the Coyotes and the Kraken, their first ever meeting, are tied. Well, you see the big goaltender, Scott Wedgwood. Time now for a taste of our Taco Bell take. It's all about him. He's been great. Remember, he did not start the game. He relieved Vermelka 59 seconds in, and he has come up with nine big saves in this period alone. Yeah, that's really hard to do. You know, you prepare for the game not thinking you're going to play, and then you have to jump right in. That just speaks to him being mentally ready, even though he wasn't slated to start this game. Seattle scored two goals in the first 59 seconds, and that was it for the starter. Now, McCormick, a turnaround shot high over Wedgwood, and Wedgwood was acquired late in the week off waivers from New Jersey. But he's been here before. Now, out to center. Labushkin through the middle. Barrett Hayton will get to it, punished by Oleksiak. He feeds it in on Grubauer. He'll play it along. Keller to the point. Kraus sends it in. Labushkin to the slot. Trouble brewing here, but it goes off a stick. And a penalty is called. Cam Deneen moved in. Arizona will get a power play. Seattle number 14, two minute minor tripping. Passion's gonna go in. You see the stick get right in between the legs, causes him to go down. That's the right call, an easy one to make. And they're having a very big penalty kill right now for the first time this game in an important moment. Yep, critical crack and kill. 7.06 left. Off the draw, got to spare. Defers off, Kessel goes down the wall. Shane got to spare. In the skates of Chikrin, he'll settle it down. Shane got to spare. Blocked in front by Donskoy. Chopped by Shane. He's got it. Short handed, almost a breakout for Riley Shane, but he was cut off by Chikrin, who has the puck. Seattle changing the killers. Kessel at the point. Sends it all the way across. Clayton Keller will dust it off. Back again for Gosta Spare. Keller. Now Kessel with a shot. He scores! Phil Kessel with a power play goal. 6.26 left. Arizona leads for the first time. We've seen this one quite often from Phil Kessel throughout his career. He's got one of the quickest releases when it comes to the wrist shot. It's a great crossing pass. He's able to find it right through. But again, you've seen this, it's just quick. It's not very hard. He doesn't shoot it as hard as he can all the time. He finds the right spot. He's able to pick it up. Rubar, I don't know if he was able to see that through the screen as well. But again, that's something that you see time and time and again from Phil Castle. Great seam pass by Clayton Keller. And the finish by Phil Kessel in his 912th consecutive game. 909 points. Face off reverts back in the Coyote zone. The Kraken down by one with 619 left. There's your scoring summary. Gostaspare gets the secondary assist. And back of the goal, Everly. Moved along. Out to neutral ice. Carson Susi. Wenberg let it go. Gapping up. Strawman. Susi back in his own zone. Turns away from Kraus. Starts a breakout for Seattle. Jaden Schwartz off the wall. Goes deep. Mayo reverses by Wenberg and back out. Mark Giordano. To flatten out the puck. Under six minutes left here in Glendale. First of two straight. On the road for the Kraken, they're in Las Vegas on Tuesday. Tanev goes deep. Mayo moved along by Gord. Giordano at the point. Sends it deep for Brandon Tanev, who kicks it to his stick. Connie Gord in back of the goal. Up top, Giordano. A tip by Tanev in the screen. A stoppage of play. 5.23 left. Power play goal by Phil Kessel. The Kraken down by one. 
down the stretch. There's the score in the late stages here in Glendale. 4-3 Arizona Fubo TV Kraken calendar. Nationally streamed game ESPN Plus Tuesday night from Las Vegas. We're back on Thursday night, starting with the Coors Light pregame at 6.30 from Climate Pledge Arena, Anaheim in town, Minnesota on Saturday. Face off in the Coyotes zone. Arizona seeking their first win of the season. Seattle looking to mount a comeback now for the first time tonight. Here's Schwartz. Everly in tight off the side of the goal. Located by Jaden Schwartz and up top it goes. Swung across for Giordano. Vince Dunn assesses. One-timer Schwartz stopped by Wedgwood. The Coyotes try to clear. They will thanks to Lawson Kraus. Icing will be called here. Still plenty of time left in this game. Seattle's been getting their chances so far throughout the entire game. First period, second, and third. They've been getting good looks on Wedgwood. If they just keep going with the same pace, there's still four minutes and 53 seconds left in this game. They're going to get another good look. It's just they have to bear down and put it in the back of the net. Arizona cannot change. Seattle will. Gord, Geeky, Tanev, Flurry, and Adam Larson. Under five minutes left. Face off, controlled by the Kraken. Fleury snaps it across for Larson. His shot blocked in front. He goes over the stick of Fleury. He better get on his horse. He does with help from Larson, Adam Larson, as Kraus was attempting to bust in. 4.37 left in this third period. Strawman off a defensive stick off Tanev and now Beagle. But trapped offside was Dimitri Yashkin. He'll tag up now on a delayed offside. Seattle brings it forward. You're looking at Hayden Fleury in the skates of Morgan Geeky. Cam Deneen is back defensively for Arizona. They jam along the boards. We approach the 16-minute mark, Kelly Arnpro. The pass cut off, played by Deneen. Moved by Roussel. Fed all the way down, no icing. Both teams are changing. Giordano, broken up by Kraus. He's got it, Lawson Kraus. Forges off the wall. Giordano for Seattle off Kessel. Right now as the difference-making goal in the power play. Yarncroke. Aerial flip. Donskoy moving in on Mayo. They jam along the boards with 3.40 left in regulation time. Gostas Bears, three points tonight. He lost his stick. He'll get it back. Mayo along the boards. Tied up by Riley Shea. Out of this puck battle. Donskoy tries to pry it out for Seattle. Now it's moved along by the Coyotes, and Kraus has the puck, and here he comes. He'll go off on a change. Keep an eye on Philip Grubauer. Still time left. 3.12 on the clock. Dunn inserts it all the way around. Fisher moving down for Arizona. Dug out. Dunn at the point. Moved across. Fumbled a bit. Brought in by Susie. Schwartz let it go for Everly. He's checked by Christian Fisher to an open corner, a force by Susie. 2.50 left, a reset, Wenberg. Looking for the tip blocked in front by Anton Strollman. He's got it off the glass, back out. At the line, the Kraken jump on it. Here they come, Everly gains the zone with Schwartz. Good defensive play by Strollman on him. A reset for Seattle, 2.29 left. Brandon Tanev, now Vince Dunn, Adam Larson, 2.20. In terms of regulation time, Tanev, supported by Geeky, cycles out. Flurry at the point. Laid along for Brandon Tanev, he'll turn, dance a bit, take it to the outside. Wind one off a body off Barrett Hayton. To the point, Flurry. Grubauer stays put, popping out Geeky. His shot stopped by Wedgwood, the rebound! The Coyotes get to it, it's Labushkin. Held in by Larson, turning his Tanev. He'll dangle. Brandon Tanev, geeky, rather, Yarncroke is struck with a high stick. But they play on. Adam Larson whistles one off the glass. Grubauer stays put with a buck 43 left. Now pulling up 
Clayton Keller to the slot. Hayton run into by Tanev and then Larson who has the puck. Just about 90 seconds left. Hayden Flurry over the line. Grubauer takes a peek at the bench. Flurry goes deep in the zone, supported by Everly. There goes Grubauer. Six out for Seattle. Out in front. Back to the point. Giordano, his shot. Scores! Mark Giordano! The captain delivers with a buck 18 left. The Kraken have tied it. No better time for the captain to have a clutch goal right here. The puck is just floating up into the air. It's a good play right up to the top. Wastes no time, puts it in. Wedgwood's not able to see it. There's a lot of guys in the lane, but again, he just throws it. Looks like a little knuckle puck. The puck's on edge there, but he still delivers it to the net. You just got to get it down there, and good things can happen. That one had eyes. And those are happy eyes from the Kraken Nation here in Arizona. 4-4. Just a wild night in the desert. Now it's cleared in. Larson moved along. Look out. Here's a chance. They score! My goodness! Lawson Krause with his second of the game. And the Coyotes are up by one. Coyotes score on this. It's just a simple play. They get the puck in, get it deep, go to work. A little bit of a turnover down in the corner. You find Lawson Kraus right in the slot. He's able to throw it right under the legs of Grubauer. Here's the pass right out in front. Kraus just finds the little bit of the dead area in the slot and is able to put it through Grubauer's legs. Timeout, Seattle. 105 left. Here's a look at Comcast Business of Hockey. And the Firebirds have been announced, the Kraken's American Hockey League affiliate. That was announced yesterday for the American Hockey League's 32nd franchise. They begin play in Palm Desert, California next season. This season, the farmhands are in a shared affiliation in Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte Checkers. 105 left. And final piece of strategy here for Dave Hackstall. EQC scoring summary. That was the tying goal for just a few seconds and a, a stunned moment here at Gila River Arena. As Lawson Kraus has his second of the game from Johan Larson. 13 seconds after Seattle tied it. Yeah, that one's a backbreaker. But again, there's still a minute and five yep. seconds left. There's still time. There's still a chance. You just got to get the puck in so you can get Grubauer off the ice. He's in goal for now. Giordano, Gord. There goes Grubauer. Under a minute left in regulation time. Chikrin, read by Giordano, under duress. They jam along the boards. Gord off a stick in the screen. It goes out of play for a stoppage. 45.8 seconds left. Yeah, you're going to get an offensive zone faceoff here. A good time for the offense to set up. Try to set up a faceoff play where they can get a little bit of extra offense. Bard will stay out, obviously. Six skaters, empty net scenario. Arizona looking for their first win of the season in game number 12. Alex Wenberg crossing sticks with Jay Beagle. Off the draw, Everly goes to the wall, pays the price. 40 seconds left. They scrum for it. You see it. They continue to jam. Arizona wants to keep it right there. 32 seconds left. To the corner, Chikrin tied up by Wenberg. 26 seconds left. Still fought for. Still tied up along the boards. Was the bevy of humanity. 18 seconds left. A hand pass. Will stop play. That's a Seattle hand pass. For our new fans, you can pass the puck with your glove in the defensive zone. There's no whistle. And because of this, Seattle infraction, it comes outside the line. That being the faceoff. And that's an important point, the puck coming outside the zone. 
Now Seattle has to get the puck back in. They have to win the faceoff first and get it back in. That's just wasted time and effort. The final push with the empty net for the Kraken. Jay Beagle and Alex Wenberg on the draw. Wenberg wins it. Giordano moves it to the wall. It's Eberle. Fans on it. He gets it back. He sets up Giordano. Wrist shot off bodies. Eberle's got it right out in front. Heck and whack time. Still available. Six seconds left. Here's Giordano flung across the board. He gets it back. Final hope. A shot. Blocked. The rebound. Stopped by Wedgwood at the horn. Arizona has won for the first time this season. Get a good look at these chances. Two guys go down to block the shot. Everly has a chance to shoot. Goes off the pad right there. And it's just a mad dash in front of the net. You'll get the last look from Giordano up top. The pucks are going down. You get a look right in front from Yarncroke. Not sure if the time was going to expire on that one. But Wedgwood had himself a game tonight. He sure did. Scott Wedgwood. Absolutely heroic in this third period. Two goals by Lawson Krause. Regulation win for Arizona. Their first win in this game number 12. Final count, Arizona Coyotes five, Seattle Kraken four. Let's go back to the studio. Here are Tom Glasgow and Nick Gismondi.